I think as an architect, um, you're inspired by multiple disciplines. And I've always believed as an architect, the idea is that you need to be much more of a Renaissance man, therefore multidisciplinary. The Fore Urban is this idea, is this idea that within the kind of city, in the urban fabric, which is obviously even in this building, which is all made of concrete from the 1970s, nature starts to take over. building which is something which is solid has always been solid how do you give it a life what I mean if you give it mobility through technology it can actually adapt itself also as nature changes so can the building change and I find this extremely fascinating You can see the Tour Eiffel, you can see La Défense, you can see Longchamp, you can see Sacré-Cœur, you can see everything from inside the building. Therefore, the importance not only was light, nature, but also the city. When you're up above, you're kind of on a cloud, you know, you're hovering over the city because you have nature around. And when you are sitting, for example, in the sunken living room, that's the whole idea why we made it sunken, is that you're under this space and you see only the sky and the green above. So you feel like you're at the ground floor. The heating that comes from the building, you know, we've kind of redistributed it. It's all natural ventilation and all the floor is ground floor heating. Therefore, the carbon footprint is very low. The building at the top floor has two elements and the pergola is just above and will become completely covered in nature and therefore will create again the concept of the Fore Urban. The building itself is like the stem and the Fore Urban, our project at the top, is kind of the flower that opens up within the urban fabric. <laughs>